during prayer that will win the battles. Prepare your hearts. And it's in your hearts that everything will happen. So tell the Lord, help me, Lord. Prepare my heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Please listen to me very well. So when you go to the fountain with your buckets or with anything, any recipients, and you want to bring a water, but when you go to the fountain and you open the tap, but, but you pour away the water from the bucket, and, but you put the, your bucket upside down, water will be flowing, but will not be entering the bucket. You have come to the fountain of God. And rain from heaven will come down. Have you put your bucket upside down or right side up? I'm inviting you now to pray. To say, God, I am at your fountain. I want to go back with water. I want to go back with water. I'm not going to put my bucket upside down. It's your heart that is that bucket. Open your heart to the word of God, to the spirit of God. And say, God, in your hands, I commit everything. I commit everything. So I submit to do only your will. Speak to me. Your servant hears. Oh, if you can have such a heart, we leave this place filled. Let's raise our voices and pray. Pray and ask God to do something, to do something, to do something, to do something in your life, in your family, in your church, in this country, in our regions, in villages, and all over the and beyond this place, in the whole country, continent. Water, rain will fall down. So prepare to receive. Prepare to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's continue with the announcement we just, did, we just made. All those who have testimony, I may see you see they are said it But because of them, we could not hear them. Please, let's, let's come up and be come at, at our left hand side here. We want to hear you and give you the opportunity to come and testify. It's very important. And we said it before. Let's continue praying. We are going to pray for the man of God. The one who has been chosen by the Lord. The man of this time. Let's pray. We have just read in Isaiah, the spirit of the, of the Lord God is upon me. Let's pray that the spirit of the Lord be upon him without measure, without measure. Raise your voice and pray for him. He, he is the channel that the Lord is going to use. So pray that the Lord will use him without measure so that we will be blessed, so that Africa will be blessed. Europe will be blessed. Asia will be blessed. Australia will be blessed. Everywhere in the world. Let's pray that the Lord will bring down deliverance. Pray now. Oh, let anointing be upon him. Anointing be upon him. And anointing will flow. So that we will be judged. We shall be healed. We shall be delivered. So raise your voice and say, God, I am here. I'm here. Lord, do not pass me by. Do, Lord, don't pass me by. You have come here with a problem. Anoint ye upon the man of God. We'll break your yoke. Because the Lord uses his servants. And he has put anointing upon them. Now ask again. Lord, use him mightily. 
mightily this evening so that you'll be tossed in your needs. You will not go back as you came. We will not go back as we came here. God is faithful. God is mighty. And he is the one who will do it. But he has told us to ask. So you ask. 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 And you will receive. You will receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray for our technical, our technique here. Or everything that will be done. Nothing, nothing will disrupt or interrupt what is being done here. So let's pray now for all the technicians. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for all the material we are using here. Let's pray that the hand of the Lord will be upon them, wherever they are. Let's pray that the Spirit of the Lord be upon them. And so that everything will be done orderly. So that glory will be given unto our Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Raise your voice. I cannot hear you. Pray. The Lord wants to do something. The Lord wants to do something in Togo, in Africa, and in the whole world. So it's us. So let's pray. If my people, upon which my name is called, humble himself, pray, and seek my face, the Lord said, I will answer him. So raise our voice and say, God, please look at us here. Lord, we want to see you. We want to see you. We want to hear you. Raise your voice. God Almighty, we want to hear you. So let's shout. Men, women, young, young people, let's shout. Don't be tired. We have just started. So continue and ask God, to do something in your life, in my life, in your family. You will not go empty-handed. So pray, raise your voice, and speak to the Lord. And the Lord will do it. He wants to do it. And he will do it. God wants to do it in my life and in your life. Let's pray that the Spirit of the Lord manifest himself. So that this evening, souls will be saved in Togo, in the whole world, everywhere. Let's pray there will be a harvest of souls. That is why we have spent money. So that souls might be saved. So that the kingdom of the devil will be depossessed. And the kingdom of God will be filled. Raise your voice and let's pray. Let's pray that the Lord will open the windows of heaven for the salvation of souls, for deliverance, for signs and miracles. Let's pray that there will be healings here. Let healing be like the bread of children here. Let's pray that healing and deliverance. Let's ask that the Lord will make us see once again his power. Pray. Let's continue with the announcements. Tous ceux qui ont des témoignages. Ah, mais si à mes les Let's pray. Let's pray. In Isaiah chapter 10. Isaiah chapter 10. There is a, a powerful verse there, verse 27. And each Isaiah 10, verse 27. And it shall come to pass in that day 
that his burden shall be taken away off from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing let's pray for the anointing upon the man of god once again it's the anointing that breaks the yoke all those who came here with a yoke whatever in the world let's pray that the anointing be mighty so that yoke will be destroyed pray the lord raise your voice and say god anointing 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 that breaks the yokes yokes must be destroyed yokes of blindness yokes of paralysis yoke of demonic demonic possession let's pray that all those yokes will be broken today when they are anointed upon the man that has been chosen by God when you will be standing in front of us here let's pray that the yokes we start will be will be broken all the yokes must be broken today you will not go back with your yokes all your yokes shall be destroyed pray pray the Lord pray now in Jesus name we pray in first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 in first Corinthians 2 verse 4 very important for us first Corinthians 2 verse 4 and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power amen, amen. i say people of god amen the man that the man of the world that the man of god we preach today will be a word of revelation and he will touch our needs he will reveal hidden things in us and there will be liberty and deliverance pray the lord now paul, paul said that it's a demonstration of the spirit and of power when the man of god will stand in front of us there will be a demonstration the manifestation the revelation of god's mysteries of the power of god in action as in the old days pray the lord now pray the lord now pray the word of god today will be a revelation and you will see where you are and where you have to go pray that the world will be mighty to bring to set to bring liberty here you will know you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free the word of god shall set someone free the word of god will set you free the word of god today will set you free so raise your voice and say god do it again 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 in jesus name we pray you came with a problem here this evening i just want to assure you that god is in our midst i, I say god is in our midst here so manifest faith in the word of god in everything that the man of god will tell us you need to have faith in the word of god and you will notice a change let's read our voices i don't know your problem but just go to god and and tell god this problem this issue today this evening i will not go back with it i will not go back with it pray now raise your voice and ask god and it will be done to you it's a merciful god he's a loving god he's a loving god he's a god who have mercy and he will have mercy 
if you if you shout to mercy you will receive mercy shout this evening and say god my sickness my problem i i don't want to go back with it and we not go back as you came the lord will not leave you the lord will change your history tell the lord change my history change my history change my history my misery lord clean my tears and give me a new song to sing put praises in my mouth and you will, you will sing so ask the lord ask the lord in jesus name we pray those who came out yesterday for testimony please come to our left hand side here leaders and pastors are there to listen to you and you will be given the opportunity to come and testify let's continue praying we are going to ask the lord everywhere in the air oh the powers in the air oh let's break them down no spirit will hinder our prayers today in jesus name pray now ask the spirit of god will move everywhere in in our in the front in the back in the middle on our left side on the right side beyond this place and everywhere people are praying everywhere people are listening to our voices let's pray that the spirit of the lord will change the atmosphere and take control of the atmosphere and there will be signs and wonders so thank the lord now so start thanking the lord start praising him because we soon bring the man of god in our midst here and today will be special i say it again today will be special you will see what you have never seen before your eyes will see it nobody will tell you yourself you will see so pray and thank the lord praise him because he is in our midst the lord is in our midst already the lord is in our midst pray the lord he is in our midst here god is already here the lord is here the lord is here so thank the lord the lord will visit you this evening you will receive the visitation of the lord and you will see the hand of god you will see the hand of god you will receive the power of god you will see him you yourself you will see it once again those who have testimonies please please come out and our leaders are here to receive you and you will be given the opportunity to come before and testify let's not do what the nine lepers did there were ten and jesus healed them but only one came out to come and what the lord did for you so come out to strengthen the faith of somebody else thank the lord praise him glorify his name in jesus name we pray our father and our god we want to thank you thank you for your love thank you for your grace thank you for your faithfulness we are we are confident that we do it again today more than what we are expecting here and all over the world glorify your name use your servants put your anointing upon him let it be without measure let impossible become possible this evening in jesus name